Hello everyone, let's take a look at this legal problem. It's the third problem in the weekly contest. Okay, um, this is a problem. If you haven't read the problem, you can take some time to uh, read the problem. So let's just um, take a look at some examples. In the first example, there are two possible arrays and uh, the element and the index is two, which is, is the maximum possible value. Okay, for example two, uh, let's take a look at this graph. Note, there are some constraints that n can be 10 to the nine. So uh, on algorithm will be TLE in this problem. Let's take a look at this example one. n is six, index is one, maximum sum is 10. We can say like how we can use graded algorithm to solve it. So it's a little bit greater since at first we initialize all the element to one. So we know sum is six, maximum sum is 10. So one is okay. Next, we try to mix the value in the index as large as possible. So we increment to two. Okay, then sum is seven. Next, we increment to three. In order to maintain the property, all its neighbors need to become two, so sum is 10. So we, uh, at this time, we cannot increment it to four, otherwise it will exceed maximum sum. Okay, what if maximum sum is 18? then we can keep increasing the element in index. Now sum is 14. Next, we make it five, but now sum is 19, which is uh, exceeding the maximum sum. So we cannot make it five. For this example, simple, we can only make it four. Okay, so now we find um, some patterns that each time we can try to increment the element in the index, then we get a new sum. As long as the new sum is smaller or equal than maximum sum, we can keep trying a larger number. So my initial version is a linear algorithm. Um, like first, I have an answers when sum is n. Then each time, like I try to increment the elements in peak. So left and right is the range that um, that all the elements are affected. So. If sum is greater than maximum sum, I need to break. Otherwise, I can increment the element in the p uh, in the index. Then I can try to um, like minus minus left and plus plus right since the affected elements are larger. For example, when it becomes um, th three, the neighbor should becomes two. So uh, every time I may affect one leftmost element and one rightmost element. And at last I just return answer. But it's TLE since it's linear alg algorithm, it's ON. So let's try to see how we can modify this version into a, maybe a better alg algorithm. So for this problem, we can do binary search. So the core problem here assigning index of value, it takes just a one to de determine if the value is greater than maximum sum or not. For example, we're assigning the peak value as five, then we can use a one to get the sum. This is a function to get the sum. So I divide it into two parts, the left part and the right part. So my sum is uh, left part plus right part, then minus the overlapping peak element. So for each part, uh, there are just two conditions. We know uh, it's the decreasing ladder. If, if the ladder, uh, we know when it decreases to one, there may be other one here. So there are many flat one elements. So in this case, we just uh, one plus peak multiply uh, peak divided by two, then plus the remaining elements one, they are all ones. Otherwise, we know uh, it's ladder and maybe just four, five, four like this. So the minimum element is four, just four plus five multiply length, length is two, then divided by two. Okay, so use, using this track function, I can know if I can assign the peak or not. Then I can just use binary search, initialize left to one and right to maximum sum. And while left is smaller equals than right, I get a uh, middle value, then I try to set the middle value and test the middle value. If, uh, if it does not exceed the maximum sum, then we know uh, 
mid value is acceptable. So I just trying to assign the mid value to my answer. Then left is mid plus one. Otherwise, if it's exceeding the count, uh, the maximum sum, we know it's not acceptable. So we just and try to search the left part. So right becomes mid minus one. Okay, so it's the log n version algorithm. That's it. See you next time.